Hey guys, I hope y'all are doing good. So, a lot of my interior designer friends have asked me this question and a lot of you are asking me this question in the comment sections that is BIM helpful for interior designers? Can a interior designer switch to a BIM role as in BIM coordinator or a BIM manager or a BIM lead? So I will be answering this question, all of these questions in fact, based on what I have experienced in the industry and what I have seen in my company and what my friends are seeing in their company. So this video will be a helpful video for anyone who is trying to decide this or who has these questions. So try watching this video till the end. Before starting this video, I would like to request you if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead, hit a like and subscribe to my channel. Your support is the only thing that keeps me making this these kind of videos or else it's really difficult as an architect and as a working professional to continuously keep making these kind of videos answering all of the questions and everything so yeah support my channel and without any delays let's get started with the video guys so let's start with the question number one can an interior designer switch to a BIM role can an interior designer get into a BIM coordinator or any kind of BIM role? So my answer is absolutely yes. You can definitely learn what is BIM, how BIM works, what are the processes of the BIM. You will need to learn Revit very thoroughly or any BIM related software that your country is using. For example, some of the country uses Archicad. So any of these softwares that are being used in your country or your region, you will have to learn them, you will have to master them and you will have to master the process of BIM. So definitely uh, you can switch into the BIM industry, but there are few things that you need to understand before switching your field into BIM. Okay, so the first thing is BIM is not just one software, it's a process. It's a very big process that starts from the very beginning of the project, like even big before the design starts, BIM process starts. BIM actually decides how the process will flow, how the design will flow, what kind of data your model will give. So all of these things are decided under BIM interface. and interior designing is also a part of this entire BIM process. So interior designing is a part, architecture is a part, procurement, construction, scheduling, everything is part of BIM. So this is what BIM is, okay? And guys, the next thing and the very important thing is, uh, there are very few interior designing firms right now that have totally switched onto BIM process or they have a BIM team that manages their BIM processes and everything. So there are very few firms, very big interior designing firms have already made their switch. There are firms that we are like doing collaboration with, like they are hired as a consultant for kitchen designing, for interior designing, for space planning. So there are interior designing firms that are switched onto BIM, but not all the firms, okay? So I would say that you will have job opportunities, but don't think that you will be able to switch to architecture or engineering firm. Because in my experience, what I have seen, a lot of engineering firms hire engineers, engineers who are into BIM as a BIM coordinator or a BIM lead or a BIM manager, okay? So they see what is your prior education and then your experience into BIM and then they hire you. For example, our company is an engineering slash architecture company, but I am into the architecture side of the company, not the engineering side of the company. And I am on the architecture side of the company just because I have a backing of an architecture degree. Okay, so similarly, when you will get hired based on your education, your portfolio and your experience. So you will be hired for BIM specific role into interior designing. So don't think that it will be very easy to get jobs, but I would say that it will be better for you because 
this is the initial phases where a lot of companies are switching on to the BIM and they don't have very, very high expectations. They are forming their own BIM development teams and all of these things. So opportunities will be there, but don't be very, very optimistic that you will find job very instantly. But when you will find job, I would definitely like to say this, that these companies will be one of the bigger companies in the interior designing field. So that's the opportunity that you will get by switching into the BIM industry as an interior designer. Next is the question that a lot of people ask me, a lot of uh, company owners, the people who have their own interior designing firms have asked me this question that is, can I just learn BIM and will it be helpful for my daily usage? Uh, can I just learn these softwares and will these be helpful for my daily life or my career growth? So my answer is yes. So even if you have a basic understanding of BIM, if you know softwares like Revit or Archicad, if you are in some other countries, not in North America, then definitely it will help you a lot. For example, in my company, like where I work, a lot of interior designers are using BIM are on the BIM process and they are using the full potential of the softwares like Revit. So this is not only in the beginning like, okay, fine, this will do the 3D as well. This will do the interior modeling as well and all of these things. But what BIM enables or what softwares like Revit or Archicad enables you is the capacity of extracting data out of your model, okay? Unlike uh, softwares like SketchUp or something, you don't get any kind of data that you can extract and like you can use for your construction. Here you can extract data like scheduling, you can extract data like manufacturers, you can extract data up to the finish level, finish thickness and everything. You just name it and you will have that data. But also you will have that data if you have planned that you will be using or you will be needing that data after you have finished your modeling process. And that's what BIM does. BIM has a guideline. BIM sets a guideline. Okay, these are the things that you need from this interface. And that's how you start your model or your modeling process. That's how you build that project. So I would say if you are an interior designer and if you are just thinking like, okay, what can I do to upgrade my skills? What can I do to get a better job or get into a better company? I would say, go ahead, learn Revit first of all, and then learn how BIM process is carried out, how Revit collaboration is done, how cloud collaboration is done, how data is extracted from the model, how scheduling is done, how procurement of a material is done by using Revit models, how clash detection is done. Like don't be master, even if you are not a master of these softwares or these techniques or these information, I would say even knowing the general overview will help you a lot in your career and your growth. So guys, this is the overview of BIM in interior designing. And this is based on my knowledge and the people who are interior designers and who are practicing BIM as well. They have suggested me these things. So I have tried to make it as simple as possible for everyone out there and if you still have any kinds of doubts or any queries or anything please go ahead and mention it in the comment section and before signing off guys please don't forget to hit a like and subscribe to my channel because again this is the only reason your subscription your support is the only reason that i am able to make these videos or else i would have quit a long time back so please go ahead, hit a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon guys. Bye-bye.